This is Brooke at PrinterBot, and we're going to be installing a Y belt guide upgrade. Now, I call it an upgrade just because uh, it's new, it's a laser cut. We've been shipping these for a while. We used to print this part. You'll see it when I get it, get it off. Uh, but this is much quicker for me to manufacture instead of a printed part. Uh, we have a laser cut part and a couple of standoffs. Um, the rest is basically identical. So if you have a printed part um, that you're replacing, and we've got this old bot that we're upgrading, and uh, you can just barely see in there, there is a plastic piece. There's no real reason to upgrade um, unless you just like the look of laser cut, but I'm going to show you how to upgrade this part. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of break this bed down. Uh, and it'll just take a second because I've got a screw down. That's going to help me uh, be quite fast with this. I'm just going to loosen these two screws. Take them out. I've got a clutch on there so I don't over tighten. Sometimes when I take things apart, it doesn't have quite enough torque at the low torque set or the low clutch setting. All right, those are inch and a half so I just took out. These are the, the wooden Y bar ends. I'm going to take those completely out of the front. And if I can pull this up so that it's out of the way, I might have to manually move this up. I actually have a, a nut on the top of this one over here. So this will give, give enough, and if it makes you feel a little better, you can loosen this nut at the back. A little bit so that it's not straining that wood. I'm going to lift this up and just pull this whole thing out so the bed comes out quite easily. Now it's still wired in there. So now you can see pretty easily. Uh, the upgrades. Now, while I have this apart, it'd be a good chance for me to upgrade this pulley. Um, this is a printed pulley. So I'm going to pop that off and upgrade that. I have to run over to my shop and get one. You should be able to loosen that set screw. And with a pair of pliers or needle nose or something, you can kind of pry that off. So we're going to upgrade that. If you want to flat your motor, I can see uh, here I, I flatted that with the file. But let's, let's move this up a little bit more. So I'm just going to take these motor mounts out. Now the motor's held in with two screws at the back as well. So I can take these screws completely out. without any danger of the motor falling out. Okay, that one's loose. And we do include 608 bearings, everything you need with this new kit, which means the old parts will come off and you'll have some extra pieces. Uh, we didn't want you to rely on old pieces. They may be dirty or stripped or uh, just tired. Um, you can even see the belt sometimes um, It'll drop a little bit of dirt on there. So we're going to have completely new parts. So there we go. Let's open up this new pack. We've got the wood piece. So we have two quarter inch washers. Let's show you what we got here. We got two quarter inch rot washers. They're going to go on first. And these washers do have two sides to it. They have a flat side that has kind of a sharp edge on it. And they have, they're stamped out. So when they stamp out as it presses down, it kind of rounds that top corner. I like to put the rounded side up. So we're going to put the flat side down, rounded side up. We're going to put the 608s on top, like so. We're going to put the standoffs in. 
and the standoffs will reach down all the way to hold that washer in place so the standoffs will actually touch against the wood. Then we're going to put the small washer and truth be told you could put um, another set of quarter inch washers. And then we have a I'm going to measure this to make sure we are getting the right measurement. So then we have what should be a 25 millimeter yeah 25 yeah 25 millimeter um, the 25 has a, a little bit at the top that is not threaded and that will go through the wood first and then it will go down through this little assembly that we've created okay so I'm going to turn it up side down Whoops. I want that rounded part to be in contact on the top so it's going to flip over and go in just like that I like to get it all together before I put it in the only danger in this is that you, if you're not paying attention, your quarter inch washer could slip. So before I really crank it down tight, uh, I always check to make sure that washer is centered. That one's fine. This one's a little off actually. So I'm going to put that in place. And the telltale sign is, if I could reach under there, the telltale sign is after you get it very tight, you want zero wiggle on this thing. If you get it very tight and your bearing is not um, spinning super easily, you've done something wrong. So, I mean, I have that so tight, I cannot move it at all. The bearings are spinning now. And there you go. That's how you install the new Y bearing guide.